I got a confession to make. Around two years ago, I deleted social media and my life never felt better. I felt happier, with energy, and actually myself. I posted a video about it, uh, how it felt, and people felt identified with the message. Yet, I felt like I could be doing more, unlike every other selfish person on this earth and me wanting to grow my, this channel and my own brand, personal brand, I decided to do the one thing I never thought I would actually do. Okay, wait, hear me out. I am downloading it to spread a message within the platform that social media is actually bad for you and that life is not as we see it online. Basically, that I'm trying to spread the message of normalizing the norm, if you could say it that way. And since I'm back in the platform and having experienced how good life is without social media, here's how I will restrain myself of becoming addicted again, while still being an active member on the platform. But first, I need to go somewhere. First, I will not be having the app on my phone, or any app for that matter. I recently yeah, downloaded an app um, and made my phone a minimalist phone, more like I transformed it into a dumb phone with um, the intention to reduce my screen time. Before when I wanted to quit social media, I already didn't have the apps on my phone, because having the apps on your phone adds an extra barrier, let's put it that way, for you to be able to use social media. So for example, let's say that you use Instagram a lot, and for my case, I'm gonna be having Instagram. How I will do it, basically, is I will be not having the app on my phone, making it an extra step if I want to use the app. First, I will have to either download the app or go into the website uh, to use it, adding, as I said, an extra barrier when you want to use the app. Then it comes to choosing the right app. There's new social media platforms coming out every day. Think of it, uh, for example, MySpace uh, back in the day. I didn't get to use MySpace, but I used another one called Orkut. You would have was similar intent, let's say. Just a lot of times they say that you should just diversify and have as many platforms as you possibly can in the intent of actually going by viral. But that's sometimes not the case. Sometimes you just need to stick to one, stick to the one that you actually enjoy using. In my case, it's YouTube. I will have Instagram. And then have yourself a set of rules of how you're gonna use the app. Sticking to one platform or perhaps two if you want, in my case as well too, will help, will help you using the app intentionally and not just, oh, I'm gonna have TikTok or Snapchat or whatever platform is the new one at the moment, just with the purpose of having that new platform. You will actually be more intentional with your use of new platforms and social media if you only use those that you enjoy using and not just using a platform because that's the new trend and because everyone else actually uses it. If you actually decide to use one, just because a lot of people are using it, what you can do is restrict negative content. Now you might be telling me, yeah, but a lot of times platforms just throw you the content that you, for example, TikTok, that you have the For You page. Well, just try, just try not to use the For You page um, in my personal case, I will not be following any people. This way I will just restrict the temptations of actually having any content whatsoever. Now, my girlfriend yesterday told me, yeah, but sometimes it's just hard and difficult to restrict the content that you consume. However, now on Instagram, for example, she told me, you can pay for ads. I was like, oh, that's actually cool. I mean, no ads, pay for ads, they pay to restrict ads and that way restrict the negative influence of 
ads, I would say, that foment consumption. Now, another way to restrict negative comments is to actually not follow people. This may be difficult if you actually use social media to enjoy, but just go over how many people you follow. Go to your followings, the people that you subscribe to. How many of them do you actually know? How many of them do you actually enjoy the content? How many of them do you actually follow just because you went out on a party one day? Wait. You went out to a party one day and uh, you met them, got their Instagram and that was the last time. Come on, it's cold. That was the last time you spoke to each other. What the fuck? This is so satisfying. Now, another way that you can influence the negative comments is by posting positivity and spreading positivity. And that's what I always try with my content. Motivation, positivity, ways to improve life for the people. <laughs> Now, will you change the platform by spreading this type of comments? No, but at least you make your experience and the ones around you more enjoyable and more coffee. It's cold. Now, I find this the best part. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Look at that. So another way that I will be restricting negativity in the platform, for myself at least, it's by... by being a creator and not a consumer. So, what this entails is, instead of constantly... <laughs> Oi. So what this entails is, instead of going into the app and just being there and scrolling mindlessly, the idea is that you create content, publish it and share it, rather than being a consumer. This will actually allow you to enjoy your experience in the app in a way that not only you foment and become more creative with what you do, how you experience everything, perhaps even want to connect a little bit more. There's no such thing as a boring life. I mean, we live in an age where you go on the platform and all you see is people sharing their daily life, going into places like Dubai, Bali, and know, whatever, being at the beach all the time. By being a creator, you can spread a message, whatever message that is for yourself. Whether the message is that you want to normalize the norm, how there's this one guy doing it online, has a, like half a million followers, I think it's called hubs underscore life or hubs dot life underscore something like that. He literally shares his life working a nine to five. And what he spreads is that that's normal, and that's the norm, and he enjoys it. And there's no such thing as trying to be better or trying to live a different type of life, um, working on a five to nine to escape the matrix. Life is life, and life will always be that way, and we need to get money somehow to pay our bills, the way that we do things. And there's an ambulance coming. And no matter what we do, no matter how we do things, fomenting whatever you believe in, and I hope it's a positive message, can help in this age of everything being extremely out of the norm. What I'm trying to get here is that 
just publish content and don't consume and just enjoy what you do. Go around your life, not constantly thinking what others are doing and enjoy the present, live the present. Take pictures for yourself, not for someone else's platform. And life will be better that way. I think, at least for myself. It has been, so that's why. Now we need to tank. That's what we came for. Now if you think that you can actually not just be a creator and a consumer, perhaps what you can do is restrict. Restrict the time that you spend on the app. There's incredibly amount of different apps that you can use in order to restrict that time. There's also other ways that you can do it. And if you decide not to use the app, what you can actually do is just use it on the web and set a timer, use one hour. There's paid apps, there's free apps, there's all sort of apps that you can use in order to restrict your time. For me, as I'm restricting this to uploading and not consuming, it will take maybe one hour, hopefully two a week to schedule my posts for the week and then be able to move on. You can even do this with if you have an iPhone or if you have a Or if you have an Android, you can do this with the app itself. There's ways that you can just restrict that usage. And I used to set it for half an hour, for example, set it for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or whatever you think is the best for you. Now, last but not least, just if you decide to consume and after everything I said, you decide to Keep on using the app. Just remember, please remember that life is not as beautiful as Instagram makes it seem to be. Not everyone wakes up in a wonderful life, in a wonderful villa in the middle of uh, the Maldive Islands and not everyone has margaritas or mimosas or whatever that is for breakfast. Everyone just posts their best of their best Everyone is just comparing and trying to outsmart and be better than the next person. And um, what you can actually do, is remember that your life is, your life is your life. And you should just compare yourself with who you were and where you were yesterday to make the best out of it. Because if you decide that you're gonna compare to people that are 10 steps ahead of you, you're never gonna get there and your mental health is actually going to struggle a lot. And I'm telling you from experience because I used to DJ and I used to enjoy DJing, but I was always comparing myself with people that made it sort to say that had gigs and were actually DJing and making money out of it and unfortunately I never got to that point I got a few gigs but I never got to the point where I could say I made it as a DJ I always gave up before and being fairly honest with you it was not a really fun time when I would just compare myself with other people and yeah how do you say it be there or not be there I was just wishing I was somewhere where I was not I guess that the main message of this video is that I'm back on the gram and um that this year, this time, I'll just be mindful of how I use social media to spread a positive message, to create, to normalize life, motivate and hopefully teach. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, just don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like it. 
sounds cliche doing that, but it really does help, I have to say. Bye!